Dave, congratulations. You haven't left the Grand Slam empty-handed. Just try yep. and sum up how you're feeling after your whole Grand Slam experience and your win tonight. Yeah, no, it's been amazing. I'm, honestly, I couldn't thank the PDC and the BDO enough for inviting me. It's, it's been an amazing experience and something I'll live with for probably the rest of my life. It'll, it'll set me on good stead for next year, so hopefully I can just kick on now and... We'll see what happens next. What was the game like tonight to play in? Because it was a strange game to watch. That... Yeah, it was funny because, like, obviously, like playing Gary, I was sort of like, "Geez, man, he's a legend." You know what I mean? And and I came here today thinking I've got nothing to lose, so I just sort of just played. And yeah, it's, it it clicked today. My doubles were going in, so yeah, took my chances and yeah, got the win. Where you BDO players don't get a massive amount on TV. You now you've had three games in a short yep. space of time. Was that hard to adjust to? Um, a little bit. It, the thing is, like with a BDO, you do a lot of travelling, but you don't get no TV time because we've only got like three majors there. So, I mean, yeah, it's a difficult one, but you just got to adjust. As a dart player, you just got to adjust, haven't you? So, yeah, no, it's, yeah. Was there nerves up there? Um, I'd be lying if I said no, but yeah, you know, we're all human, aren't we? And, and to be honest, like for me personally, I've only played. Um, eight times on TV and all my mates at work are giving me stick, I've never won on TV, so yeah, so it's good. I, like for me, I just want to do my kids proud and they're probably at home watching and yeah, that's, you know, that for me, I just want to do well, that's it. What was it like when you got the call to say you'd been selected as one of the eight to represent the BDO in the Grand Slam? I didn't get a call. Um, I found out off Twitter. Yeah, so it was, uh, okay, yeah, it, it, funny enough, um, a, a friend of mine was in Cyprus and he uh, texted me, I was at work and all uh, he said, you're in, and I was like, really? Straight away you go on social media and I see I was there and I thought, oh, is this a wind up? But yeah, no, it was, yeah, I didn't, I didn't find out, I didn't get a call, I just, I just found out off uh, social media. Many people won't know, but we saw you earlier, you actually played with a bad back today as well. Oh God, yeah, um, yeah, it's a bit of a, a weird one. We had to check out of our house that we were staying in, and we checked into a hotel first thing this morning. So um, the fellow I was with said, "Oh, he's, he's lazy. He asked me to go get a cup of tea." So I went downstairs, had hobnobs, custard creams in my hand, dropped the pack of uh, hobnobs, bent down, back blew out. So like I've been struggling a little bit, but I mean to be fair, once you're up there, the adrenaline—I I didn't even think of it. So yeah, but I was struggling earlier on, as you as you saw. So yeah, no, I'm just I'm yeah I'm chuffed a bit to just get the win. So. This, this whole experience has given you the taste of what could be for your darting career? Yeah, do you know what? It's a, it's a massive eye-opener. Like, I, I grew up going to Lakeside and, you know, playing at the beat on the BDO circuit and playing legends, you know, the Fittons, the O'Shea's, the Adams of the world. But this, on this side, it runs like clockwork. Everything, everyone sort of has a job and you know where you're going and it's, yeah, it's, it's a massive eye-opener, but yeah, who knows what's, what the future will hold. Giving you the hate, taste to go to Q School and perhaps try and win a tour card? Yes, possibly, but like I said, who knows, there's, there's lots of things to go. I've got the O2 in January, um, got to focus on that, and then, then we'll see what happens after that. Dave, pleasure speaking to you, and thank you Top very man. much. Thank you very much.